If you got GMT 400, I'm gonna show you how to go from den and a half to double den. Stay tuned. YouTube, what's up? It's Magnus. This uh, double den unit is made by No P. Uh, you can get it on eBay and Amazon. I'll put the eBay link in the description. It's a seven inch screen, full color, Android based OS, uh, but it's wireless Apple CarPlay compatible. Very nice unit. I got this one for free from a vendor I deal with just to try on the channel and get my feedback from it. Gonna show you the steps to install it uh, with the metric kits I had to use and also with the wiring harness and what to do if you have the Bose premium system in a GMT 400 truck in order to get this unit to work and have sound. If you get this unit and you're gonna use the metric kit to install it, you will have to drill holes in the metric kit. Uh, just kind of eyeball the middle of this top hole because that's where you're gonna have to drill your other hole for your bracketry. So there's a hole at the bottom. It's gonna line up perfect at the bottom of the unit, uh, but the top hole will not be there. So you're gonna have to take a drill bit and drill a hole. Like I said, just eyeball the center of it and then put your mark on the unit like I did here. And that way you kind of can line it up and know where you're gonna need to drill your hole in the bracket if you're gonna be installing this unit in a GMT 400 truck. After you get that top hole drilled in your bracket, it's gonna line up perfect, just like the OE unit in your GMT 400 truck. Use your metric kit when you get it as a template to place in your dash opening for the radio. Mark it off like I've done here. And then all you gotta do is get your Dremel and trim down this area. And then all you do is snap this in place. And as far as your dash modification, you're done. They do sell reproduction dash face that have the double den opening already. But if you got a decent dash, it's not cracked or beat up. You can just use the metric kit like I showed you. Use it, the face plate for a template and just cut your existing dash and no issues, you'll be good to go. All right, with the GMT 400 harness that you get from Metra Raptor, there's gonna be a wire, two wires, matter of fact, that will not be accounted for in the schematic for the uh, plug-in harness. There's gonna be one that says key one and one that says key two. Okay, I hooked this up without having those wires connected and I didn't get any sound whatsoever. All right, so I took key one and I spliced it into the remote ignition power source, which is the blue wire for power antenna and whatever. Sound started working and it works fine. I went ahead and wired the backup, which is the pink wire and I've got the RCA for the backup camera. I've got everything laid out. Also remember with the tray we installed, I've got holes drilled and both USB ports in there. I'm gonna plug those into the back of the radio and to the sockets here. We're gonna hook up our GPS antenna and our regular antenna. And that's pretty much it. Just remember as a tip, if you get this brand of double den, keep that in mind about the key one and the key two. Um, use key one, you're good to go. You really don't need key two. I think it's just like a backup secondary. Main one is having the key one hooked up. Make sure it has power supplied. Now also I tried to hook key one to accessory and it didn't work. We didn't get any sound that way either. So it has to be on power antenna and amp. This is how you get sound with the GMT 400 platform trucks that has the factory Bose amp and sub, and it sounds great. It sounds better with this radio than it did with the original Delco unit. So, all right, just something to keep in mind. Here's a tip for you, and I've seen this a lot over the years um, doing installs 
and GPS tracking and such. Uh, when you're looking for a place to install a GPS antenna, you don't have to put it up here on the dash. Uh, a lot of people do that because in their, their brain, I'll admit, we're wired to think, okay, I need to put it up here on the dash, clear line of sight, etc. right? The dashboard and the windshield is going to cook this antenna. So what you need to do is install it somewhere. We'll still get signal, but it needs to be out of sight of the sun. Um, I've installed hundreds of GPS tracking systems on cars um, for dealerships, uh, buy her pay here. I used to be a repo man and we would always put them somewhere like this where you could still get signal, but it would be out of direct sunlight because that's plastic. It, it's got electronics in it and high heat's gonna cook it. So. On a GMT 400 vehicle like Octane here, with the, the bezel off the front of the dash, you can find a spot like I've got right here, install your GPS, route your wiring to your radio, you're good to go. Okay, we got all our wiring nice and tidy. Got our GPS antenna tucked away. Our USB ports are connected to the back of the unit, and we're getting ready to test fit and secure the unit and also hook up our antenna all right guys there she is after you get your wires tucked back and that's how it's going to look installed into the dash this is a shallow unit which if you got a gmt 400 truck these are the way to go because any of the traditional style double den units you're gonna have to do a lot of cutting in the back here where it mounts but the shallow unit like this, you still got plenty of room for wiring. If you had to get the pack one uh, interface, you got plenty of room for that to sit back there too, but we didn't need that with this unit. We just wired it straight in and uh, everything worked, so. Okay guys, there you go. Uh, as I showed you earlier, where we marked the dash to trim it, and then the metric kit, you just put it in a place and it just gives you open a larger window uh just converting the den and the half to a double den all right we get ready to install the dash and the hvac control unit all right guys there we go um pretty clean straightforward install for the size of that wiring issue i told you about just be on the lookout for if you get this unit and i actually need to bring the unit out more uh so it will be a little more flush than what it is but so far so good, I can live with that. It's a nice responsive screen. CarPlay works great. Uh, it automatically engages when you turn the key on, so we're good to go on that. But I've been Magnus, I uh, hope you enjoyed this install and I will catch you in the next one.